What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to the I Took Report. My name is Ava Ani. This is where culture classics and commentary resides. Before you do anything, definitely press that subscribe button. It is free. And also click the bell for notifications. So every time I upload, you will be notified. So anyway, shout outs to all my subscribers, 345 of you guys. I appreciate you guys for subscribing and I appreciate the comments as well as people that um, stop by and just um, watch some of my videos. So anyway, um, today I want to talk about Spike Lee. Um, Spike Lee is an Oscar winning uh, filmmaker. He's been making movies since the 80s. He is definitely a part of my childhood when you think about dope movies like She's Gotta Have It, Do the Right Thing, the list goes on. So anyway, um, Spike Lee, if you know or are aware of who he is, he is an advocate and a, the, one of the most famous, biggest fans of the New York Knicks. Um, New York Knicks, you know, NBA, they always have their games, and if you ever watch it on TV, or if you ever went to a game, you will see Spike Lee in prime time seats, courtside, looking at the game, everything, right? So, apparently, on the New York Times, where I get my references, it says um, the most famous fan, which is Spike Lee, uh... He um, got into it with the franchise owner, which is James L. Dolan, you know, of repeatedly lying about why he was stopped short after entering Madison Square Garden before a game on Monday night. So apparently the owner um, got into it with Spike Lee and saying that he can go another interest. Now, this is the thing. On the article for the New York Times, it states that um, at the dispute, um, which is the entrance Lee can use to attend games, Lee said he had used an entrance on West 33rd Street for nearly 30 years. That is a long time, including uh, as recently as last week. That interest is typically reserved uh, for news media, employees, and attendees who are disabled. So apparently, Spike Lee has been using this for 30 years, and it's just for those particular people, right? However, all of a sudden, they decide they want to change what entrance Spike Lee um, enters into after, you know, he scans his tickets because he actually buys his tickets, I think, for the whole season, right? And let's be reminded, those tickets are not cheap. They said the tickets are like salary tickets, like somebody making 30, 40K, you know, at their job a year. These are what the tickets are like per game. Ugh. Woo. So anyway, um... Spike Lee was really upset about that because he's like, come on, I've been doing this for 30 years and now you want to change the process. But what uh, the owner, uh, James L. Dolan said, is pretty much he wanted him to go through the VIP uh, entrance, which is celebrities and so forth. Now, my thing is, you have to think about this when it comes to customer service and then generally if somebody has been patronizing your business for 30 years and then all of a sudden you want to switch up and it's not something that they're going to be they're going to get killed or safety issues hey you've been letting him go through the entrance for years why change it now and he's giving you guys so much money i would like to see the tally amount of how much tickets in those 30 years that Spike Lee has paid for. To me, that is like VIP. You know, usually when you think of somebody um, really supporting your business like that, you probably want to put them up in a booth, you know, but knowing Spike Lee, he loves NBA, um, he loves the Knicks, and then he loves basketball, period. I get that, especially if you watch his movies, some of his movies. 
So in this sense, it's like you're gonna really do your your supporter, your one of your main famous supporter like that. I don't think it's cool. It doesn't look good, especially from a, P, a POS standpoint. It, it's not good when somebody has been paying their money to come to support you in your company. Now, fun fact, you guys may not know, is that the New York Knicks is second in regards to selling um, like the franchises and everything. They make tons of money, you know? But however, I wish they would be in the playoffs. You know, it's one thing to have money and to sell out all your merchandise and all of that. But can we get the New York Knicks into a playoff? You know, and, that, and you have to really think about it. That starts with management. But anyway, nevertheless, I think that this was handled wrong. Which, you know, Spike, Spike Lee said that um, they should have emailed him. They should have called him. And let him know entrance was going to be, you know, he couldn't go through that entrance if it was going to be changed. So then he know what to do or whatever. But to do it on the spot after his ticket was scanned, not cool. I think that um, if the New York Knicks wants to make this right, um, if need be, let him go through the entrance he's been going through for years. Or if nevertheless, they should have sent him a nice letter or a um, in person when he comes to the game and say, hey, the owner wants to meet with you to talk about the situation instead of doing that. That shows you guys that no matter how much money you have in this world and you can support a company like the New York Knicks, if they don't appreciate you, they will let you know and not think nothing of it pretty much that but anyway um i hope one day i could uh go to a, a game an nba game and sit court side or whatever but i can't see myself going each season unless it's just a really like the team is really making it to the playoffs but i like i like basketball a lot so in this sense, um, maybe this is something for Spike Lee to think about because I don't think after this is not going to be the same. And then he also said um, in this article that he won't be going to any more games until next season. Personally, when you look at Do the Right Thing and all these, these movies he's has put out throughout the years and so forth, I don't think I would want to go to um, another New York Knicks thing, game after this. After I didn't spend so much money in my 30 years of life and being a successful filmmaker, I can go to another. I can go to another franchise and probably be treated even better than what I am now with this one that I've been with for years. Anyway, guys. I think it's just messed up, but overall, I think customer service is important, and especially when people are spending money, they should be told in advance or politely pulled to the side, something, so it won't be a situation like this. So shout outs to um, Spike Lee. I hope it works out, or well, maybe he can go somewhere else, you never know. Shout outs to him, but... Maybe this is an eye-opener and a lesson that no matter where you're at, people, certain people won't appreciate you. All right, guys, so comment. Let me know your thoughts on this. Would you spend a lot of money for 30 years on court side uh, tickets to see an NBA uh, game, especially when you've been going in for 30 years? Also, let me know, would you come back? after a situation like this, you've been going to this entrance for like 30 years and would you go somewhere else and support another NBA team? Do you think um, the owner, Dorlin, is wrong for how he handled it? Do you think Spike Lee is wrong? Let me know. Um, like this video. Once again, I said comment and I will see you on the next video. Peace and this is Ani.